Hey guys, what's going on? Vega here from Serpentex Special Forces, and in this video, we're going to be going over how to mine Rio currency. It's not a new currency, it's been around since 2018. It's a privacy focused currency. But before we continue, I just want to make sure you're aware of something. In these videos on how to mine a particular currency, there's two things I want to make sure that you're aware of. One, by the time I record, edit, and release these videos, the miner that I'm showing may be outdated. So just make sure that your miner is fully updated. As well, the currency that I'm talking about, I would ask that you do your own research or due diligence to confirm that this currency is something that you're interested in getting into, that you see as a long-term viable option. It's always up to you to do your own research. I'm just gonna be going over how to get started mining this particular currency. And we've seen uh, Ryle actually climb up in the charts of the most profitable cryptocurrencies to mine because it is based on the Kryptonite uh, GPU algorithm. And the first things first, they made some changes to their wallet. Originally it was called uh, Atom Wallet. I think it's still called the Atom Wallet. But they have a desktop version, a web version, a command line version, a paper wallet, which you can generate online, and then a mobile wallet maybe? And I think it's not really a mobile wallet, but what happens is when you click the link, it takes you to the online wallet, which again, you can access just through your browser on your phone or any device that has internet connectivity. Uh, the web wallet is what we're gonna be utilizing today, uh, but I have used a desktop wallet, which is just a light version, and it's, it's very simple to use. Just whenever you create these wallets, you're obviously gonna be presented with information that you need to store or back up. So let's get started. You could change your theme, uh, I always go with the dark theme. Gives us a quick disclaimer. We're gonna go ahead and next. And then you're almost set. Uh, please hit next to get started. And it's gonna start initializing. Now we can add to the desktop. To increase the security of the Ryle Wallet Quasar uh, by adding it to your desktop. This will give Ryle Wallet a native look and feel. I'm gonna go ahead and hit cancel. And now I can restore wallet from a seed phrase or I can create a new. We're just gonna create a new one. We're just gonna give it a name like test and we're gonna just give it uh, something, whatever. Some password, um, if I were you, give it something strong for me, I'm not really too worried about it. Now, your wallet will be encrypted and saved to the browser's local storage. Next time that you use the web wallet, you will only have to enter in the password. You must choose a secure password to use this feature. Now, since it's being stored in the local storage of the browser, I believe that if you clear cookies and cache or do any like CC clean or anything like that, you may wind up deleting it. So just make sure that you back up anything that it provides to you. Uh, using an insecure password could allow attackers to brute force your wallet. Hit continue. And now here is the stuff that you wanna back up. So you're gonna get, be provided with a secret word, your viewing key, your spend key. And then of course we need to confirm these seed words down here. So we're gonna click it by entering it in the correct order. Your wallet is at the very top here. There's a copy button as you can see if I move out of your way. There's a copy button up here in the top right that you're gonna to wanna to click. And then just hang on to that because we're gonna need it for the various mining pools uh, that we're going to be connecting to. You only have to confirm a few of them, not all of them but it needs to be in the order in which you received it. And you can see here that it hides it as you're trying to choose the correct words. So open wallet, there we go. Again, copy your address, we're gonna need that. And now we need to go look for some pools. So as always, miningpoolstats.stream is a great resource in which you can use to uh, find a pool that's good or local to your area or as close to your area as possible. Uh, the main official pool, Ryo-Currency.com, uh, is actually the official pool of Ryo Currency, uh, but that has about 55% of the network hash rate. Now, if you know me, I don't like mining on a pool that has over 51% of the network hash rate, so I would go with Zerg pool in this case. However, you can go with what best fits your criteria. Uh, the options are Zerg pool, the official pool, and then fairpool.xyz, which is actually a pretty good pool, but it, it's dropped down as far as average block times found and stuff like that. It also has uh, a higher fee uh, or pool fee than the other two. So we're just going to go with Zerg pool. But there's a reason why I'm bringing up the other two right now. So bear with me. So on the other pools, they mention XMR stack on the official pool. And on fairpool, they mention XMR rig. 
Now, the XMR rig has both an AMD and NVIDIA version. The problem is, is that XMR stack hasn't been updated since 2019 as well as XMR rig. And what I would recommend is just my personal opinion. You may have a difference and feel free to leave it down in the comments below is instead of XMR rig and XMR stack, which are good miners, is Crypto Dredge for NVIDIA GPUs, which does support 3000 series, and SRB miner for AMD GPUs. Those would be my two miners that I would go with or that I would recommend using to mine Ryo, okay? Now, when you download these miners, which I have already done, you wanna get it for the correct operating system. We're on Windows, so we're gonna get the Win64 zip. And then for Crypto Dredge, kind of the same thing. There's Linux and Windows. Just get the right one for your operating system. Now, I downloaded both already. And when we ex you want to extract it to wherever, wherever you want. Now, normally, I keep my miners organized in a specific folder. However, I just have it in my downloads. Just make sure you keep it somewhere safe to where you know where it's at. So in SRB Miner, you can see that everything's already pre-set up. However, Ryo is not in here. This is the one that I just created today if you look at the date. So what in this case, what I would do is look for one that's on the same algorithm, like conceal, and you want to right click edit. If you double left click these files, you're going to start mining to somebody else's wallet. So don't do that. So in this batch file, it already has the algorithm we need. The only thing that we need to change is the server and everything. And Zerg pool makes it easy for you. Uh, Ryo makes it easy for you. And fair pool makes it easy for you. I mean, here's the pool address. Here's the port number. Uh, everything that we need to plug in to get started. So with Zerg Pool, you could actually use their generator here. You choose your region, North America, Europe, Asia. You choose your algorithm, Kryptonite GPU. You choose your currency, Ryo. And even right here, this drop down, if we actually get rid of that, we can actually choose Ryo as the currency, put in our wallet address, give it a worker name and then it will actually generate down here at the bottom and you could just copy this but this won't work on all of the miners so just get the base information so let's do that right now so we got the right algorithm now we need the right server so we're going to go back here we're going to grab the actual server which is uh kryptonite underscore gpu dot na dot mine dot zerg pool dot com 44 45 is the port number and we're going to paste that behind pool moving on the address you can see is the conceal address ccx and it's super long so make sure you could tell the difference between your conceal address and your route address do not get them mixed up and then to add a worker to this particular one i believe after the wallet address you do dot and then the worker name of your choice in this case i'm going to do test that's how you set up the SRB miner uh, to save this file don't do file save do file save as because you don't want to save this Ryo setup for conceal save as make sure you change the save as type to all files and give it a unique name uh, for whatever currency you're on in this case it's Ryo I already have this saved so I'm not going to do that right there so let's go ahead and start this up turn my video off so we can see And with SRB Miner, it gives us some options up here. It says uh, press S to display stats, H for hash rate, P to switch to a different pool or, or the, pre the next pool, and then O for the previous pool. In this case, we're just going to do stats. We can see we're getting our hash rate right here. And what you always want to do is when you start mining, let it run for a little bit, and then you want to check it at the pool. Right now, if I check it at the pool, it's not going to do anything uh, because I haven't submitted a lot of shares. So you got to give it some time. See, it doesn't even detect my wallet. So give it some time and let it show up at the pool and you'll be good to go. Now, real quick, since we are on AMD, for the NVIDIA side of things, if you go to the Crypto Dredge website, which everything will be linked down in the description below, uh, you just choose the right one for your operating system. You're going to do the exact same thing, basically. However, obviously, I can't mine with it because Crypto Dredge is for NVIDIA type gpus but if we go to our downloads here we can see crypto dredge is already in here and we just need to modify one of these algorithms now this is cn haven and we would need to modify it to reflect the correct algorithm pool and port number 
And before we continue, all these miners normally have a readme file in here, and it will give you the information that you need. So it actually tells us the type of supported algorithm. So we're going to need to replace what's in here right now, which is actually CN Haven, with Kryptonite GPU. And it is represented by CN GPU in the readme file. So we're going to replace Haven with GPU. We need to update the server, just like we did with the previous miner, SRB miner. We need to update the address. And I believe the worker is going to be a little bit different. How you represent the worker is going to be a little bit different. Let me confirm that right now. Yes, in this one, you're going to put it for the password, which is represented by dash P. So yeah, the parameters in the, in the actual program may be a little bit different, but it's basically the same. But that's pretty much it. Just give it some time for the shares to be submitted to the pool and actually start showing your miner. Be patient because it does take a while depending on the currency and the pool network speed. But that's going to do it for me today. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out. Please let me know if you have any questions, concerns, or additional input down in the comments below. As well, hit the like button on the way out. Subscribe for additional content like this. Don't forget to hit the notification bell and check out links in the description where I have my recommended hardware as well as a link to dogelord.com where you can get sweet Serpent X merch and many more. You guys have yourself a wonderful day. Take care of yourself. I'll catch you in the next one.